Coming up on the caucus report, budget battles over taxes and health care, and hardball at the State House. Hello, I'm Mike Rao. Welcome to the Caucus Report, the latest news on the Ohio Senate Democratic Caucus. After many months of debate, the General Assembly has passed the two-year state budget. The budget contains various tax changes, including a quarter percent increase in the state sales tax and the elimination of the property tax rollback for new local levies. The Senate Democrats voted against the budget because of those tax increases and because it lacks sufficient funding for education and local communities. The process of this budget, including the 11th hour additions of complex and controversial issues without proper consideration, is not our best legislating and doesn't reflect what a budget bill should be. Those in the top 1% of the income tax bracket will receive a whopping $6,000 tax cut. Meanwhile, those in the lowest 20%, those who make less than $18,000 a year, will actually have an increase in their tax burden. I cannot fathom how backwards that is. Line item veto! Line item veto! Despite calls for a line item veto, Governor Kasich refused to block new restrictions on women's reproductive rights. The abortion restrictions put into the budget at the last minute require doctors to perform ultrasounds and limit what rape crisis centers can tell their patients. We have to show that we are the 52% in this state, Come on now. that we are the majority in this state, yes. and we are not going to be ignored. Yes. While here in Ohio, we have school children who need educated, local governments that need funded, Medicaid that needs expanded, infrastructure that needs improved, and people that need uplifted. Instead, Ohio Republicans are intent on regulating a woman's womb. While Medicaid expansion was not included in the final version of the budget, Senate Democrats continue to push for it. The expansion would give 275,000 Ohioans access to health care. No matter how hard anyone tries to ignore it, people will still go without care, employers will still have to make tough decisions, and advocates will have to decide if they will bring the issue of Medicaid to the ballot. And then the members of the General Assembly will have no say on what Medicaid reform looks like. Is that what we really want? Health care is also the reason that once a year, State Senator Eric Kearney trades his car for a pair of sneakers for a trip to Columbus. The Senate Democratic leader recently completed his seventh annual walk for children's health. It's a 107-mile walk that begins in Cincinnati and ends at the Ohio State House. This year, more than a dozen people joined Senator Kearney for at least part of the walk, which raises awareness of children's health issues. This year, we're focusing on uh, two issues. One is violence against children. Um, there have been a number of incidents in Cincinnati involving children uh, getting injured or, or hurt. Then the second issue is birth defects and the impact that it has on children um, throughout the state of Ohio. Seven down. And finally, the front lawn of the State House recently turned into an old time baseball diamond. State Senator Joe Schiavone was part of a team of legislators called the Capitol Cannons that played the Ohio Village Muffins, a vintage baseball team. You're playing with both, you know, state senators and state reps that you don't necessarily get to hang out with a lot. Turns out that legislating is easier than hitting a baseball as the cannons were outgunned by the muffins. You can follow the latest news on the Ohio Senate Democratic Caucus on Facebook, Twitter, and OhioSenate.gov. That's all for this edition of the Caucus Report. Thanks for watching.